Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel. In our lesson today, we are going to look at some of the WASI questions that has been given on plane geometry one. Now our first question, as you can see on the screen, is a diagram given and it reads, find the value of the angle marked Y in the diagram. And we have our possible answers there. But the way forward in solving this question is first to look at finding the value of x. Then from there, you can proceed to find the value of y. If you study the diagram carefully, you realize that there are parallel lines in part of the diagram. And then we have angles 120 degrees 3x and then 5x now in finding the value of x we are going to obtain a total angle of 360 degrees because all these three angles meet at a common point and that gives us a total of 360 degrees so finding the value of x then we are going to have it as 120 degrees plus 3x plus 5x must be equal to 316 degrees. Now 8x will be equal to 360 degrees minus 120 degrees. 8x then will be equal to 40 and then 2 as well as 0. So we have 240 degrees. So dividing through by 8, x will be giving us a value of 30 degrees. Now that we've obtained for the value of x, if you look at it carefully, you realize that we have some parallel lines. And there is one parallel line at this end. Therefore, there will be the need for you to draw an extension for that parallel line. So introducing... An extension from this edge it means we may have it as this so therefore knowing the value of x to be 30 then the total angle here will be giving us 3 times 30 and that is equal to 90 degrees. Now you bear with me, the angle as we can see here is 120, but because of the extension we've made, then we have a straight line angle there. So if part of it is 90, then the other angle at this corner here will be giving us a value of also 90 degrees, which tells you that we have a straight line angle property being used there. Now, Proceeding to find the value of y, then it means the angle 90 degrees and the value of y are co-interior angles. Therefore, y plus 90 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees because co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, the value of y will also be equal to 180 minus 90 degrees which gives us y as 90 degrees i believe it is well understood now moving on to the next question we have a diagram and the question goes as calculate the value of the angle marked p in the diagram the possible answers are there also but in moving forward you realize that studying the diagram we have a triangle and with the line properties attached to the triangle it tells us that it is an equilateral triangle and we also have an isosceles triangle within the equilateral triangle so per equilateral triangle property we know that the sum of all the interior angles of an equilateral triangle is 180 degrees and each of the interior angle of an equilateral triangle 
if there's an angle of 60 degrees. Hence, the angle at this corner is automatically 60 degrees. Likewise, the angle here is also 60 degrees. Likewise, the angle at this corner must also be equal to 60 degrees, meaning there's an angle plus P giving it a total of what? Um, 60 degrees. Now, moving forward, then it means since we have an isosceles triangle within that equilateral triangle, we can look out for the remaining interior angle here, and I'm using a different color to show the angle we are looking out for. So since it's an isosceles triangle, then the base angles must be equal. Therefore, we can label it with a variable x so that we can solve for the value of x. So the base angles must be equal. Therefore, finding for the value of x, then x plus x plus 130 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Now, 2x must be equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. Now, the operation on the right-hand side of the equation will give us 50 degrees. Therefore, 2x is equal to 50 degrees. Hence, x equals to dividing through by 2, we have 25 degrees. Now, we've gotten our x value, which we represented as one of the um, interior angles for the isosceles triangle, to be 25 degrees. Therefore, it means P plus our x must be equal to 60 degrees. And we know our x being 25 degrees must be equal to 60. Therefore, P will be equal to 60 degrees minus 25 degrees. And that gives us P value as, yes, work on the operation, and you are going to get it as 35 degrees. Therefore, the answer for that question is C. I believe that is also clear. Let's move on to the next example. The next example also came in the year 2018, and for that year, it came as question number 17. Now, there is also a diagram to that question, and reading the preamble, it says that in the diagram, POT is a straight line, and you can observe that we have a straight line POT, and we have some adjacent angles uh, meeting at point O. Now, if WXY is equal to 140 degrees, and X plus Y plus Z is equal to 130 degrees, find the value of X plus Y. This is a very strategic question, which is very easy, but if you don't strategize the way and manner to go ahead and solve it, it becomes a very it becomes very difficult. But as I said, it's very easy. You take your time, analyze the situation, and then you can solve it simply. Now, in order to find the value of x plus y, then we need to know what the value of x is. And likewise, we need to know what the value of y is. From the question, we are told that x plus y plus z is equal to 130 degrees. That's what we know. But remember, we are told from the preamble that POT is a straight line. And having a straight line, then it means that all the angles subtending on the straight line must be equal to 180 degrees. Hence, from the diagram, we know that W plus x plus y plus z must be equal to 180 degrees. From this scenario, then it means we can solve for the value of w, what w is. So we know x plus y plus z is 130. Therefore, we substitute 130 degrees in place of x plus y plus z so that we can find the value of w. Therefore, w plus 130 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. W then will be equal to 180 minus 130 degrees. Moving forward, it means W gives us an answer of 50 degrees. So we know the angle for W is 50 
degrees. Now, we, now that we know the value for W as 50 degrees, then from the preamble, we are told that W plus X plus Y is equal to 140 degrees. Hence, we've seen the value of W as 50. So we can substitute in place of W for 50. So 50 plus X plus Y must be equal to 140 degrees. Hence, X plus Y must be equal to 140 degrees minus 50 degrees. Hence, subtracting that X plus Y will actually give us an answer of 90 degrees. Therefore, the solution is possible answer C to the question. I believe it is also well understood. You can pause the video and go over what exactly I've done to clarify if there are any doubts. Let's move on to the next example. Moving on to the next example, we have this question coming in the year 2018, and it was question number 18 for that year. The interior angles of a particular poly pentagon are uh, x, x plus 5 degrees, x plus 10 degrees, x plus 15 degrees, and then x plus 20 degrees. Now we are to use this information to find the value of x. We are to use this information to find the value of x. Now, you bear with me, when we talk about a pentagon, we know that a pentagon is a five-sided figure. So I may have a five-sided figure drawn as this. Remember, per the dimensions for the angles given, it tells us that these sides for the pentagon are not regular, meaning they are not of equal size. That is why each of the interior angle is different. One is bigger than the other. Now, if all the sides should have been equal, then it means that each of the interior angles would have been equal. So we can assume that the interior angles, we may have it as here as x, we may have here as x, we may have the other interior angles as it was given as x plus 5, and the other would have been x plus 10. Then moving forward, the other may be x plus 15. Then lastly, we have x plus 20 degrees. Now, we learned some time ago that the sum of the interior angle of a pentagon is actually 540 degrees. But the question may be, how did you get the 540 degrees? So a recap of it, we learned that sum of interior angle of any given polygon is equal to the number of sides minus 2 multiplying 180 degrees. It came as a result of the number of triangles times 180 degrees. So we know that a pentagon has five sides, then it means that the sum of the interior angle, let me just, just use sum. Sum will be equal to 5 minus 2 multiplying 180 degrees. And therefore, the sum of the interior angles will be equal to 3 times 180 degrees. And the sum then is automatically 540 degrees. So this is how I had the 540 degrees, as I said earlier on. Hence, it implies that when we add all the interior angles, we must get 540 degrees. So we may have it as x plus x plus 20 plus x plus 15 in no particular order plus x plus 10 
then plus x plus 5 should be given as 540 degrees. So adding all the x's, we have x plus x, 2x, 3x, 4x, and 5x. So 5x plus adding the numbers, we have 20 plus 15, that gives us 35. 35 plus 10, that will be 45. Then 45 plus 5 will give us 50. So 5x plus 50 must be equal to 540 degrees. Then subtracting 50 from both sides, 5x will be equal to 540 minus 50. And therefore 5x will be equal to 490 degrees. So that is 490 degrees. Dividing through by 5, we'll be having x equal to 98 degrees. I believe this example too is well understood. You can pause the video and then go ahead and reflect on the solution. Thanks so much for joining this lesson. I believe you've understood some of the work example. So as you know, subscribe to the channel so that more videos can be presented to you. Thank you and have a nice day.